Definitely a sighting that we've been looking forward to having. It's Shadow, guys. Shadow, and somewhere hidden in here is Shadow's cub as well. And she's got a monkey kill that she's currently feeding on, crunching away. I don't know where the cub is, so I'm speaking very... Oh, I... oh no, that's a log. That's not a leopard cub, that's a log. This will be my very first time seeing Shadow's cub, and it's the first time I've seen Shadow in ages as well. So we're absolutely, really privileged to be here, and so lucky that Ryan called us in when he did. As James mentioned, we can't be here for too long for a couple of reasons. The main one being that it is starting to get dark, and there are a couple of other vehicles that would very much like to come and see the sighting. So we've just got to hope that Shadow's little one decides to show itself. There we go. We've got it. Well spotted, Dave. Oh my goodness. It's okay, little one. Hi. It is lovely to meet you. Heard so many good things about you. What's your clever mom got? Oh, look at this. Absolutely incredible. He's stalking mom already. <laughs> and so beautifully relaxed. Oh, this is so incredible. <laughs> Shadow's little four month old female cub. How lucky are we? Hi. Aren't you gorgeous? <laughs> this is absolutely the best way that this day has could have gone. I'm so excited. The first time I've seen this cub. So for those of you who are joining us for the first time, you're watching a four-month-old leopard cub live from the African bush. It really doesn't get better than this. Look how relaxed it is. <laughs> Can I have some too, Mum? Absolutely fantastic. This is Karula's daughter, Shadow, and Karula's granddaughter. So much smaller and fluffier than Karula's cubs are now. Sneaking around towards Mum. Obviously, Mum not in the mood to share. The little cub is finding other ways of amusing itself, including sniffing the apple leaf. Our shadow, when she first had these cubs, decided to den them on a main road. And what that meant was... Oh. <laughs> You've got to know which branches will bear your weight and which ones won't, I guess. Flem and Grimace. I didn't even know that they're Flem and Grimace this young. How amazing is that? Almost imagining it going right to the edge of the, that branch and then being flung upwards like a spring. What's there? What smells so nice? Hmm? Something smells very interesting on this apple leaf. <laughs> and James the closet royalist apparently has been calling this little cub Zara <laughs> this is absolutely magical 
in this afternoon light. Oh, flop. Flop. Simply marvellous. Thank you, Shadow, for this very special moment. This monkey won't last very long, and unfortunately neither will this sighting for us. We will have to leave very, very soon. But this has been such a marvellous moment, but we can't deny other people the opportunity to view this sighting in this glorious dappled afternoon light. And hello to safari lover Elaine while we watch one of our newest additions to our safari live family. You want to know why they're called cubs and not kittens? So the, the babies of all of the big cats which fall into a different, oh goodness, genus, a different genus to our domestic cats and the smaller cats they are given a different terminology and called cubs rather than <laughs> rather than kittens because they're part of the panthera family I think Shadow's about to cough up a hairball she's making the most peculiar burping sounds she might have eaten a bit too fast I'm so thrilled. It was worth losing the competition just for this. And Dean, in Nelspreit, you were wondering, <laughs> as Shadow provides us with a few burps, <laughs> what the chances are of Shadow and Karula's cubs having the same father. Get a little bit of food. There we go. She only ate half of it. She left the rest for her cub. And the answer is very, very high. They both mated with Tingana. And we think that Karula also mated with Anderson. We know that Shadow definitely did. So whilst it's impossible for us to know, chances are they, there's a very high percentage chance that the cubs have the same dad. Of course, Leopard's not bound by the conventions of the traditional family. Guys, we do have to go. We can't hog the sighting. It's just one of those things that's been found at sunset. I have to call in the next person. Let me just get onto the Game Drive channel, find out where they are. 